The University of Ghana says some lecturers have been dismissed for failing to conduct research and publish materials in journals for promotion. The president of Utah, Dr. Harry Agbanu, has therefore cautioned members to make judicious use of the 37 million CDs released by government to conduct adequate research. Dr. Harry Agbanu spoke exclusively to Daniel Opoku. Already, government through the Minister of Finance has released over 37 million CDs to pay the book and research allowance of tertiary lecturers. The amount covers the 2015 and 2016 academic year. Currently, the investors are yet to submit their documents to the National Council for Tertiary Education, NCTE, before disbursement can start. In the case of the University of Ghana, the government has already asked the NCTE to audit its documents before processing them for payments. Leadership of UTAC says it is hopeful members will receive the allowances by the end of next week. However, a cross section of the public have criticized lecturers for not conducting adequate research for academic work. In the case of the University of Ghana, although the supervisor do not supervise the research work of lecturers, some lecturers were sacked for failing to conduct research. It happens that universities, because people have not been able to make themselves promoted, they are sacked. You should know yourself as a lecturer that your continuous existence as a lecturer depends on the research, your research out output, and then the publications. Meanwhile, the Polytechnic Teachers Association of Ghana, POTAG, its leadership has rubbish claims that they do not conduct research. Naive for people to say that, I mean, people recycle, I mean, information that they have from year to year. So as you teach, even what information you have, you can revise it there and there based on the uh, new information and data that you have. Both UTAG and POTAC are questioning government not to replace the book and research allowance with a national research fund. We haven't seen in that bill yet, even though there are glimpses of that, we haven't seen it categorically stated as it used to be that the national research, the, the book and research allowances will be used as seed money for the National Research Fund. If people get up and they say that there's going to be a National Research Fund and that is supposed to replace book and research allowance, it's a joke for, let's say, if we are talking even about Kantanka Motors, how would they refine some of the processes and equipment in product to make it competitive? That is what a National Research Fund is.